one of your most successful fighters being the former super middleweight champion of the world, Caleb Plant, who just got into the ring with the pound for pound best fighter in the world, Canelo Alvarez. What are your thoughts right now on kind of Canelo's career as of right now and him uh, being remembered as one of the greatest fighters of all time? I think it would be hard not to look at Canelo as one of the greatest fighters of all time. There's so many great ones that came before him. But in this in this era, he definitely has proven is one of the in this sport. The thing that I applaud Canelo the most on is after he lost Floyd Mayweather, he took that loss and he learned from it. And he got better. He got much better. And what taught me and hopefully teaches others that no matter if you do take a loss, sometimes even when you lose, it's a win because it teaches you how to become the better version of yourself. And, and that's the same thing that I'm seeing currently with Caleb Plant. He took that loss to Canelo, but he's already showing me a better version of the fighter that he was before he got in the ring mm-hmm. with Canelo. Mm-hmm. The biggest form of education is not just about books. It's not just about sparring. It's not just about the training. It's that life experience. And so the lesson he was taught that day, the experience and the knowledge he received that day, from that fight with Canelo is a price is so valuable that you can't put a price tag on it, which was the same lesson that he learned that Canelo learned with Floyd Mayweather. So um, I think that Floyd was the best at at that time. And then Canelo followed up and now we're following the end of that era. And I think that next era is going to have some of these younger fighters like Caleb Plant step up and do some of the same things that Canelo did, take the loss and learn from it and then dominate. Yeah, and yeah. with Canelo unifying the super middleweight division in only a year and now looking to set his sights on probably the light heavy, heavyweight division, even though there was a bit of talk about cruiserweight, I don't think he's going to pursue that. Uh, do you see any of the top guys from 160 to 168, even maybe 175, being able to beat him right now? 68. Uh, there are a lot of good guys at 68. There's a lot of good guys yeah. at 75 as well. Mm-hmm. That um, for anybody... Canelo is going to be really, really hard. Is he beatable? Absolutely. Um, I, I can't pull out a specific person that I would lean toward beating him. But like I've always said, and, and the boxing uh, journalists have already said, styles make fights, fellas. So yeah. if the style yeah. is there, it, it can cause problems. And, you know, so on paper, it's hard. But once you put it in front of them, in all actuality, it may be a problem. You know, so I, I definitely see think that there are people out there that can beat him. I think stylistically, it's just finding the right style that can do it. Yeah. And with it now being a couple of months since Caleb Plants have in the, in the ring with Canelo and had a really great performance winning several rounds. And he was showcasing a lot of heart and talent on that huge stage. And I feel like his stock definitely went up from that fight, even though unfortunately he wasn't able to get the win. Uh, but what were your thoughts on his performance against Canelo and how he kind of showcased his skills? I thought he did. I thought he did absolutely amazing. See, what most people don't realize is Caleb has always had extremely gifted skills. He is mm-hmm. always a great boxer. But what you guys have to realize, you got a guy in Canelo who has over what fifty fights. Yeah, lots and of experience. Yeah, Caleb, half of those fights, right? And God knows how many world title fights that Canelo has been in up to this point. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this is only like Caleb's fourth world title fight. So he's still really young in his uh, development, right? And yeah. so when you who's still really young from an experience standpoint, get into the ring with a guy who's as experienced as Canelo, you, you got to be able to plot. They don't really understand how huge that really is. It's amazing. Most guys who are still relatively young in the development get in a ring with a guy like that. They don't make it through the first four rounds. Not the mm-hmm. last and the 11th round, right? So you, you're talking about I was very, very, very proud of him. And not from a performance standpoint, but you got to also think about the pressure that comes along with being in this type of fight with that type of person. Everybody doesn't have the pull managed that and he managed that through before camp and even after camp you know he took his loss and he learned from that loss and he made no excuses you know at the end of the day that is hard to do for any man so for him to do it at the development state that he was that he's in or was in at that point 
oh man, it's huge. So I'm looking forward to great things from him based on the fact that you take all that knowledge you just learned and you put that into your, your, your toolbox with everything else. And now you use that for your future in the sport. So I think he's going to be a problem for a lot of guys. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and you making those those comparisons with uh, Canelo and Floyd, it's kind of similar. Even though Flo- uh, Canelo already had like forty fights, it wasn't it wasn't the same experience at all. It was on that level wasn't on the same level. Floyd had been in time and time and time again. So when when Canelo lost that fight, he learned a lot from that fight. He even learned how to deal with the shoulder roll and make adjustments, you know, and so. That helped him in the fights moving forward and even helped him in the fights with Caleb. So you can guarantee it made him better and it's definitely going to make Caleb better as well.